bless her hers. She's at rest now, Tony. Yeah. Hey, what's going on? Hey, Nathan. Uh, Tony, just stop by for a second. Been something quiet since her husband gone. No shrieking or nothing. Well, you're always welcome here, Tony. Oh, thank Our you. Our place is just quiet, though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't yeah. shriek. Hey! What? You're not using that mug. Why? You're not using it. What's it matter why? Put it back. For what? What are you, nuts? It's not just any other mug. It came from Glace Bay. I didn't know I'd have to put it under glass. You're telling me that I gotta get a different mug for this? What's it even doing up here, Mom? Get another mug. Okay, I'll get another mug. God. Complete insanity in this place. For God's sake, can't use cups. Don't touch that mug! What the, what the are you nuts? Put the mug away. <sighs> Fine, whatever. I'll go out for coffee. Yeah, we're quite over here. Oh my God! <laughs> Do you need this help? Is so embarrassing. No, no. Whatever's in there is probably already broken. Look, I've been meaning to reach out. I just, it, a lot's been going on. Oh, uh, it's all good. I mean, nothing's been going on for me. <laughs> it's kind of sad. <laughs> are you, are you, you want to meet up tonight? Are you free? Um, let me think about that. Yes. Eight o'clock? Yeah. That's great. All right. All right. Oh, oh God. Easy. Oh, God. <laughs> Nathan! Nathan, what's up, man? Hey, uh, Mark. Yeah, um, not much. I'm just meeting someone. N not your wife. Oh, I know. I know, because, uh, she's got the kids tonight because I'm meeting someone. If you, if you know what I mean. Awesome, man. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, you're supposed to be here, um, in an hour ago? And a half? <laughs> yeah. But, you know, she's probably just, like, um, Gotten into like a, a light car accident or something. Probably just a light car accident, yeah. Yeah. I mean, did you message her? I did. I did. And, um, you know, I think she's just uh, exchanging car info, uh, like insurance or um, mechanic options. Yeah, no, she's coming, yeah. Okay, I gotta confess something. Um, she canceled. <laughs> yeah. And this, like, helping relationship thing is, like, way tougher than I thought it was going to be, you know? So, honestly, I, I thought they'd be jumping all over a dude who has his very own man cave. Yeah, women don't really care about that. Crazy enough. You, you didn't put, I have my very own man cave in my dating bio. Right? No, no, I just put married dad of four, looking for no strings attached, horrifically disgusting sex. That's what you wrote? It's, it's the truth. You can't write the truth, man. That's not what marketing's about. This is why fast food places say, you know, 100% grade A beef. They don't say, come get this pink slime. Right, you idiot. So what, what am I supposed to say? Anything, man. You're just trying to keep it light, start a conversation, you know? Uh, you could say, uh, how much do you bench? Or, you know, would you rather fight a snake or Bet Midler? Depends. Has Bet been drinking? See? It's a dumb question, but now you're talking. <laughs> right. Yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. No problem, man. Um, w when I do get a match, when do I bring up the d disgustingly horrific sex part? She's dealt with men before, man. She knows. <gasps> what? Yeah. You made it. Cheers to that. So did you go back to work that day thinking like, did I just give my number to a shoe? Yeah, a little. However, it's a little less of a red flag than a UFC t-shirt. <laughs> no, come on. Mm -hmm. What's so bad about two barefoot people in board shorts having a cage parking lot brawl? <laughs> so, ship it. What's that like as a place to work? It's the easiest job in the world. <laughs> All you have to do is read addresses and take shit to it. <laughs> That's it. The ring doorbell scares me. Oh my God, yes. 
rain cameras, recording everything. Mm. And for what? I know. <laughs> People are like, oh, somebody's gonna take my packages. No, they're not. And if they do? Amazon, Amazon will, will send, send you another, another one. one. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, who cares? Like, who cares if your neighbor steals your bathrobe? Yeah, now you both have one. It's just so crazy that people have those, you know? It's like, people got cameras inside to record the couch. They got cameras outside to record their porch. Oh my God, I was, um, so embarrassing. No, come on, what happened? <laughs> so, I'm walking up some stairs and I'm carrying this box. Uh, I don't even know what it was. I think it was like a cat toy, a, a cat <laughs> shirt, a hat for a cat, whatever <laughs> it was. I was walking up the stairs with it and I trip. You? Come on. <laughs> yeah, me. I tripped. <laughs> and I smoke my head on the door, and I'm just laying there thinking, that happened on camera. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. Get this, the worst part? Mm. They posted it. No. It, it went viral. It blew up. <laughs> there were remixes about it. And, oh, my God. And now, <laughs> I'm a meme. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you have to sign off on something like that? Isn't that my likeness or whatever? Yeah, I like mean. Like that's my property. It's your head smoking that door. Like technically you made the video. <sighs> People are animals. People are animals. <laughs> so. Yeah, so. What did you end up moving away for? And don't say tech. <laughs> no, uh, I moved away for comedy. I'm a comedian. A comedian? So that explains the shoe. Explains a lot, honestly. Have you ever bombed? Yeah, I've bombed mercilessly. <gasps> That's my idea of a nightmare. Probably the worst bomb is in front of these, like, little elderly ladies. No. Not little old ladies. They're the nicest. Maybe individually, but as a group, they are just as awful as everybody Have else. Have you ever been heckled? Yeah, same show. No. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm telling you, I did a show from these little elderly women, okay? I am bombing horrifically for 20 minutes. And then my set comes around, I go, I'm about to get out of here. I can't make this up. Little old lady in the back on an oxygen tank takes her mask off and goes, good. <laughs> mm. Stop. Everybody laughed just like that. I'm yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm really sorry. It's fine. <laughs> At least it wasn't caught on camera. Honestly, I wish it was, you know? It'd blow up and now I'm the guy that got oxygen tanked. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my. So. So. You're just visiting for a bit? Well, I was, and um, I mean, long story short, me and Jerry got into an argument, and now he's blackmailing me and taking me to court. See, I always knew he was a Don't say it. Because I did that, and now he's taking me to the Human Rights Tribunal. The Human Rights Tribunal? Mm hmm Isn't that for, like, war criminals? And name callers, apparently. So, what are you gonna do? Go to court? I mean, I don't really know. I guess I gotta get a lawyer. Maybe I could try to blackmail him. The reverse blackmail. Mm. Return to sender. <laughs> Return to sender. <laughs> Maybe. Well, hey, you know, I know he has some past due bills. Hmm. At the old place? Like maybe, maybe he still has some bills there. Wait, so did you ask me on a date to tell me you're gonna commit a crime? <laughs> crime? No, I mean, not a crime. I mean, is it a crime to use your cousin's old manager keys to get back into the job that fired you to blackmail your old boss? I mean, it doesn't sound like a crime to me, right? You know what? My ex broke into a pharmacy. I'm not going down this road again. Wait a second. Chris? Rogaine? Oh, f This town's too small. Oh, no. Have a good night. No, no, wait. Just don't, don't listen. You don't... Nathan, Nathan, oh! Woman said she'd rather fight Ben Midler. What do I say? Ask her if she's sure, because Bette Midler's 6'4 and works out. Is that true? No, but do you see how you... 